guys, welcome back to another empties video. I'm so excited to get rid of this crap. So let's do it, shall we? I'm gonna start with food like I always do. Here we have the Barnum's Animal Crackers. I love these. They're just the cookies from the, the old school from back in the day. I just love them. And every time I see them, I, I get them most every time. But I just like these ones the very best. This brand here, the very best. That's my favorite. Another yummy thing is this Zatarain's Dirty Rice. This is so good. Um, a lot of people like to put sausage in theirs. I like to use just straight up ground beef. Um, you could put ground chicken. You could put ground beef and sausage. But Daryl and I just like plain old ground beef and it is so yummy. And I'll chop up a little bit of bell pepper, um, a little bit of onion, and you just cook it away. And let me tell you what though, just as a warning, it stinks up your house for days and everything in it, including your hair and your socks. I had a sweater, just a cardigan that I had worn outside that day that I made it. And I just hung it right on the banister there. And I made the dirty rice and like a couple days later, I decided to finally put my sweater away. So I picked it up and took it in my closet it smelled like dirty rice still. Oh my gosh, I was grossed out. I had to throw it in the washer because I couldn't still, I couldn't deal with the smell. It was awful. So just know that this will stink up the house for quite a bit of days and it'll stink up everything in it. But it's really yummy. It's really yummy. And they have some like Zatarain's red beans and rice. I've never tried that, but I'm sure it's really good. Here's a food thing we just had, the Stouffer's lasagna, the frozen. It's nothing new, nothing major, but it was yummy. You know, I just went and bought a bunch of, not a whole bunch, but I just bought a few little freezer items since we're kind of like in the house now and we're not eating out as much or at all, actually. So I'm cooking like every night almost, um, unless we fend for ourselves. So this was really good. And this is the large size. So it was about like this and about, about this wide. And we just cut it in half and it was perfect portions for us. You know, just one, one big portion and we had a salad with it. It was really good. And I think we may have, may have even had some garlic bread. I don't remember. Here are the Dollar Tree chicken crackers. These are so, so, so good. These are better than Nabisco chicken crackers, chicken in a biscuit. These are just so chickeny. They are so chickeny, and they're just like chicken bouillon goodness. You can just taste all that fake chicken. It is so good. So I like these way better, and they're only a dollar. Let's see, another food thing. This Quaker caramel rice cakes, <clears throat> these are pretty good. I had bought these a while back along with a pack of popcorn flavored ones, or was it buttered popcorn? Oh, that was nasty. The popcorn one was nasty, absolutely nasty. I didn't even finish them. I just threw them away. I, I don't even think the birds would eat them. It was just terrible. But the caramel ones are always good. Crispy, sweet, tastes like caramel corn, can't go wrong. So yeah, that's what was in that little bag. I finished off another True Lemon Peach Cat Pea Lemonade. <laughs> I love True Lemon, and the peach flavor is so, so good. They're just little pixies that you put in your bottled water. You get 10 packets. Um, I get these at um, Walmart, and how much are they? They're over a dollar. I They might even be closer to two dollars, but these are so good. I like these so much better than any of the, any of the other Pixies that you can buy. I'm just hooked on these. Um, and I say cat pee because if once you open the little Pixie and you dump it in the water, you get just that 
whiff of cat pee, like for real, legit cat pee. And if you know what that smells like, you know what that smells like. It, there's no mistaking that smell. Almost every peach thing I've ever had subtly and briefly smells like cat pee. But then after you get it all mixed up, it's all good. It doesn't taste like cat pee and it's just amazing. But yeah. And so every time I do this little review, I'm always gonna refer it to the cat pee because that's what it is. I mean, that's what it smells like. But it doesn't matter because it's still yummy. Best cat pee I ever had. So here we have the Gold, Golden Bird Berg's Peanut Chews. These are so good. I got these at the Dollar Tree a while back. I had never seen them before or heard of them. And, but look, look at that picture. Chocolate nuts, hello. So I thought they were gonna be hard. Oh, they were so chewy and soft and oh, these were so good. I was just at Dollar Tree. I wish I would have thought to look for some. I didn't even think to look at the candy today. These were really good. My mouth was like totally watering just thinking about these. So yeah, those were really good. Um, one last food thing. Oh, I love these. The Fast Fixins Chicken Breast Tenderloins. These are amazing, amazing, amazing. Especially if you have an air fryer, you stick these puppies in the air fryer, cook them on like, what is it, 400 for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So crispy on the outside and juicy and moist on the inside. And you can actually, fast fixings, these are actually for microwaves too, if you wanted to microwave. Um, I'm sure they'd be coming out kind of soggy if you did that, but that's, that's okay. But anyway, these are really good, and some of them are really big like this, and then some of them, like the ones toward the bottom, they're a little bit smaller. They're not all the same size, but they're super good. It's, 12, it's 20 ounces, and this is my second bag. I've, I've got another bag in the freezer right now, and um, I had this with salad, and we tossed it up with ranch, and. You put some, you drizzle some balsamic vinegar on top of all of it. Oh, it's amazing. Daryl likes to have his plain with just mayonnaise and mustard dipping sauce. But yeah, if you can get your hands on these, give them a try. And they have all different kinds of these chicken fast fixins, but these tenderloins are my favorite. And at Harmon's, my local grocery store, they're like $11.99. I don't know if Walmart has them. I've never looked for them at Walmart. But um, yeah, you might wanna look, keep your eyes out for these. They're so, so good. I can't recommend them enough. I just can't. Here is a vitamin C drop package. We have a few more over there on the counter. Yep, we're trying to just mind our P's and Q's and take our C's. I know, I know. Here's something goes along with food, the Gas X. This stuff is good, you guys. This stuff works. This is the ultra strength, and I'm telling you, it works. It makes you expel. That's all I'm gonna say about it. And so I have a whole nother box of it in my room. I keep it specifically in my room. Yep. Here we have just a few more things. The Pantene Radiant Color Shine Shampoo. I really like this. I go through lots of this. I have a bottle in the shower right now. I like the smell. It kind of smells kind of apple-y. <coughs> it smells nice. I like it. It's fairly inexpensive. It's good for colored hair. I like it. What can I say? I got this Essentials Body Wash. Arm and Hammer, I got this at the Dollar Tree, and this was really nice. This is in the scent Clear Water. It smells nice and fresh. It kind of smells like dial soap. You know the old school dial soap that's orange? Kind of smells like that. It smells nice, I liked it. Didn't dry out my skin or anything. 
I liked it. And they had a different a different scent there in this that I didn't like as much, so I never got that one, but this one's nice. For a dollar. And then I used up this Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Lotion Intensely Hydrates Extra Dry Skin. This was nice. I liked it. And there's really it there really wasn't too much of a smell. Um yeah, I liked it. So right now I'm using Curel. I like to use different lotions to experiment. I'm like that with shampoo. I just like different smells. I got tired of this. I wanted something a little more smelly and whatnot. So the Curel is nice. It feels nice and it smells nice. So but this was nice. Here is some soft soap, fresh breeze. This stuff smells so good. They always have, I got this at Dollar Tree, but you can get it at Walmart too. They always have the fresh breeze. This is not a limited scent. It's all the time and it just smells so nice. Oh, it just smells so nice and fresh. Just like it says, fresh breeze. It smells like a fresh breeze. So yeah, I like this a lot. And here we have the Sweet Pea Sensational. This is the little wax melt from Walmart, $2. This smelled exactly like the Sweet Pea. Like, you know, when Bath & Body Works sold Sweet Pea spray and stuff? It smells exactly like the Sweet Pea. It smelled really nice. Um, yeah, I liked it. I'd get it again. It's really strong. It smells nice and pretty. And here is a Purex Crystals Cherry Blossom and Ginger. This was really nice too and I have to sniff everything. Oh, this just smells like clean, fresh laundry. It's really strong. It kind of was powdery or whatever. It just went up right up into my lungs. But this smells so Oh, it just smells so nice. Um, and it's fairly inexpensive. The Purex crystals are fairly inexpensive, and I got them at Walmart. And you can smell them when you wash. I use Gain. But right now, I am back to the Dollar Tree crystals, you know, the blue ones. I just love those. I always go back to those. And they're really potent and strong. But this was a nice one. I've used different scents of this. Um, this cherry blossom one is really pretty, though. And the very last thing, you guys, is my waterproof telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. I bought this a while back, and this stuff, this is waterproof. Like, it's legit. Um, I will say, though, it it's not very, um, it doesn't volumize. It lengthens, hence the name, telescopic but as far as, you know, volumizing or getting thick looking lashes, it doesn't quite do that. And the tip is really super skinny. And so I really liked it, but um, I ended up trying or going back to my other mascara that I like, which I totally forgot the name of. This doesn't smell like anything. And so I was using this for the longest time on my lower lashes because of the super fine, thin brush. But this finally bit the dust, and so I'm getting rid of it. And that's it, you guys. That is the last of the empties. So, yeah. And as always, I recycle what I can. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.